What is Fushimi Inari Taisha? And why is it so famous? Well, buckle in and prepare yourself for some history time. Nick and Sam Simpson, and this is Sims on the Go. Welcome to Kyoto, Japan. Good morning, and we are back at it again today and the weather today is just a little bit different there is rain in the forecast and after we left you yesterday we went to a little rooftop hotel where it was freezing and if you want to see what it is watch our short right now we are headed to Fushimi Inari which is one of the things that I have been looking forward to most but it's about a 30 minute metro ride to Fushimi Inari let's get to it I think we figured it out. So we had to take the metro to Kyoto Station and then we hop on an, a JR line, which is different from the metro, get the Suica card. So the Suica card is something you can add to your smartphone. And instead of buying tickets to every single train, you can literally just scan it and you just top it up. That is the easiest way and you can use it in 7-Eleven and it started to rain. So that's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. This was the thing I was like most excited for in Kyoto because you see it in all the videos, all of like Instagram photos, but apparently the best place to go is at the very end. So we're gonna try to get as far as far possible before we start taking photos and videos. The Fushimi Inari Taisha is made up of 10,000 Tori gates that are thought to be entrances to sacred shrines in the Shinto religion. It's so cool. This is seriously one of the coolest places. I know we've said that like every time we go somewhere, but you just see so much of this on the internet and like one of the reasons why you come to Kyoto and we're here right now. I'm like having one of those like surreal, I can't believe I'm here right now. And I thought because of the rain it would be less busy, but still busy. <laughs> So cool. Being one of the highlights of Kyoto, there are in fact over 10 million Japanese and foreign tourists that visit the shrine every year. That's why we think February is so great because so far it has not been that crowded. So the Inari shrine was relocated in 800 in Kyoto, Japan. But the best thing, and the reason why a lot of people come here are for these Tori gates. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's these orange gates that you see behind us and what you see in like Instagram posts and videos for all the people who are traveling to Kyoto. And these Tori gates are, there are over a thousand of them in this whole area. It takes about two hours to walk to the top, but it is so beautiful. These gates are absolutely stunning. So you buy one of these gates in either gratitude of a wish coming true or to ask for a wish to come true. So all of these letterings on the gates all have like wishes of people who have donated one of these gates. And there are over a thousand of them in this whole place. I'd say it's like a mile long at least, like maybe two miles long, lots of steps. So make sure that you're prepared when you do come because it's, it's a hike, but it's amazing, absolutely stunning. It hasn't been too crowded in February, 2023, but I suspect it can get really, really crowded here. More importantly than the famous orange gates are the shrines that are absolutely everywhere. Literally hundreds or maybe thousands of them. Okay, that might be a little bit dramatic, but the shrines are to say prayers to the Shinto God of Rice. 
And if you notice the fox statues in the places, it is because the people of the Shinto religion believe that foxes are the messengers. It's a lot of steps. And we're trying to get to the very end, but I have to run a marathon tomorrow. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing a whole lot more walking. It's gorgeous. Like this is really cool. It just keeps going. Like it's a shrine that just keeps going for miles. It's amazing. <laughs> Nick made his way all the way to the top of the shrine. And what he said is at the top, he experienced one of the coolest things that's ever happened. He got to see two monks chant. He said that that was entirely worth the thousands of steps it took to get to the top. Also, he said because it was February, he was able to spend a little bit more time because it was just not that touristy. Another reason why February is a great time of year to be at the Fushimi Inari Shrine. Anthony and I actually made it to the top. Didn't video much, it was just a, it was definitely a workout getting up. I took my jacket off, it was, it was a lot of steps, but definitely worth it if you're here and you have the time. Just remember, it takes a lot of effort. Sam and Lillian stopped about halfway and just kind of hung out and had a beer. And at the top, there's just a shrine. It is really cool. And on the way up, Anthony and I found another little shrine that we stopped at. We just saw people kind of praying and we wanted to be respectful, but it was so cool. So we kind of just hung out for 10 minutes, watched everyone pray. And it was just like a, like a surreal moment of like where we're at. And this is like a real place where people come to pray and be with their loved ones. This is cool. We have the whole spot to ourselves. This is a cool one. This is a cool spot. It's like very crowded here and like there are bends where there are tons of people and then bends where there are no one. Oh yeah. Oh, that was what's coming. How's it going friends? Do you like do you like it here? Beautiful. So cool. It's pretty awesome. Oh, it really is so cool. Our hands are freezing. It's very cold. We are so happy that we made our way out to Fushimi Inari. It is a destination that Kyoto is very much known for, and it totally is worth the hype. So make sure you head on out to Fushimi Inari and settle in for the whole day. Don't rush and just enjoy yourself. We also have heard that it is pretty cool at night, so maybe go check that out too. There are like lots of things in Kyoto that we wish we could have gotten to, but we only have two real days to explore here. And tomorrow I'm running the full Kyoto Marathon, which is 42 kilometers, 26.2 miles. In the last two days, we have walked like 21 miles or something. We did some amazing things in Kyoto. We saw some incredible temples. We walked through shrines. We ate really good food. We walked all around the city and to the old town. It was just so much fun. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are traveling the world and we are so excited to have you come travel with us. Like, comment, do all the things, and we'll see you on the go. You can actually buy these gates and like donate one of these gates. And what you do is you make a wish or you ask for luck. Hold on, let me check. So
So the purpose of these, so the purpose of these gates is, and a couple of other things, but it's okay because we did some amazing, we did some amazing things in Kyoto. <laughs> we did some amazing things in Kyoto. We saw so many amazing, okay, I need to keep going up.